Should be loading now. Yo. Hey, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? Not bad. Good, How's good. lockdown going your end? Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Not too bad. Just trying to stay productive. I think we all are at this point. In it. <laughs> I think everyone's getting a bit mad. We'll just give it a minute because yeah. I think the numbers are racking up now. People are joining. Yeah, yeah. Thick, thick. Awesome. Problems. I think this is the first time we've actually gone live off my live account. So should be safe. Is it? Yeah, yeah I, I think, think this so. is the first time we've done it on ours as well. But we can't get out and interview you guys at gigs. Um, and there's kind of no other way to do it apart from the YouTube side. And I think Instagram's just flown so much better at the minute. So we thought, let's do it. Let's yeah. kick off a series. And it's great to have you guys starting it off. Thick. No, thanks for having us. Sorry, it's only me. So, obviously, <laughs> yeah, it's all right, don't worry. Social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. EP's out Friday. You excited? Yeah, man. Super excited. Uh, it's been a long, like, a long process trying to get it all ready in time, but we're almost there. So, yeah, going to have a little celebration tomorrow. Nice. I guess last time we spoke was December, so the Knock Loose tour, and I remember you guys saying that you were a bit fussy and, and everything had to be perfect for you guys to put your name on it. So is this perfect? I think so. I think it's three, six songs. Um, yeah, we are very fussy, though, I and mean, we like, <laughs> we'd rather, like, you know, make sure we're all 100% happy with it and... Uh, you know, just make sure, like, everything's right before we release music, you know what I mean? And Because we put a lot of time and effort into it, so we may as well make sure everyone's happy and on board. Oh, yeah, 100%. And the artwork looks sick. Is that the same designer? Sorry? The artwork looks sick. Is that the same designer you've used on the past two albums? Uh, no, no. So oh. the first two albums were done with uh, Tom Spates. Um, and the most recent one was done by Eliran Cantor. He's done loads of stuff for like Testament, Soulfly, Hatebreed. Um, so yeah, he's absolutely sick. Joining the list there then. So um, what's the process been like recording this EP? Um, so we've been writing for this EP for probably nearly two years now. Um, and then we had like a, a bunch of songs, like ideas where we um, kind of basic ideas for songs. And then we just kind of picked our favorite from a bunch and uh and then yeah then just you know we spent spent quite a long time putting the lyrics together over uh over the songs probably you know seven eight months um just me and wilkie and con slaving away for hours on end just writing loads of loads of lyrics and uh because we we generally try to we put we have the lyrics second um and then we kind of merge our ideas together um and then it was just a case of getting like a good team assembled on board for uh, like the for the production and producing side. So we got Carl Brown at Treehouse Studios, um, and when we kind of took the like the demos to him, he was really keen to get on board. And uh, yeah, he's he's a magician. Made really captured like the heaviness uh, and like the energy of malevolence, which I think is pretty hard to do. Um, so yeah, it was just one of them where we just like we handpicked the team and. and uh, we didn't really skimp out on anything when it came to like you know getting the uh, audio production artwork and stuff like that because it's it's just we wanted to wanted it to be the best we could possibly make it yeah and it, you said it's hard to capture your energy and seeing you guys like you have got that much more energy and i think on the cp you can really hear it and it's it's just stellar sick thank you <laughs> i'm glad you I'm so glad kind of it came to it's all right so i guess this kind of feels like a long time coming for you guys after a couple of years, no new music. Yeah, I mean, we're we're never going to be one of those bands that can churn out an album like every two years. We we that's why we we chose to do like a small body of work just to like keep ourselves busy, give back to like everybody who's waiting on new music, and um, yeah, and just trying to like stay active. But like in that time, we're always like doing other things, whether we be on tour or you know we all have jobs outside of the band as well. So. Um, Yes, we're we're always active, um, but yeah, we just we just wanted to get something short and short and sweet out there while we're writing awesome. the next album. That sounds good. And um, so obviously, the, you first gave us "Keep Your Distance," which was kind of a, a nice follow up from the tour with "Not Loose." And it, how was it working with Brian? Sick. 
absolutely sick. Like all the not loose are like good friends of ours. We've known them for quite a few years now. Um, we met them in 2016 and when we were in the US. Um, and they came out to our show, one of our shows over there, and we just hung out, and, you know, and just got to know each other. And then we've played like a bunch of shows and festivals together since then. Um, and it was always kind of like we were always one of them where we're like, oh man, we need to do a tour together. And then yeah, it just happened. Happened. But, um, they asked us to join on the end of 2019, November. One of the, my favourite tours we've done. Absolutely sick vibe all time. Um, and yeah, and just it was a case of I just hit Brian up one day, like a few weeks before the tour. I was like, "Yo, you fancy jumping on the new record?" Um, and he was like, "Yeah." And that was it. There was no like, no like management bullshit or anything to jump through. It was just, just like a, a little Instagram just slide, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds great. And obviously, you guys got to try the track live. How was that? Did you expect that sort of reaction live? Um. It's always a difficult one, you know, when you're playing like a new tune. Uh, and um, oh, sorry, I just see my mate Ewan in the comments. Getting large. <laughs> I've just seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Love the sport. Um, yeah, yeah. Cheers, Ewan. Um, but yeah, it's always like a, a difficult one. You when you're playing a new song live, um, but the reaction was sick. Kids were just buzzing off it, and like when Ryan Brian comes storming out and does his uh, does his thing, then people were uh, people were loving it. See, see dogs in the house. <laughs> <laughs> They're I guess all just jealous because none of them got to do the interview themselves, and it's so that's like, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this song, though, at the minute has become very like, relevant with what's going on. Did obviously you can never predict that sort of thing, but what do you kind of say to that? Um, it's just a weird coincidence, to be honest. But you know, everyone's saying it's now the coronavirus anthem, so yeah. <laughs> it's the unofficial anthem we'll take it <laughs> yeah, it's good timing i guess but i guess like yeah. the current climate and it's, it makes the message behind each song even more relevant so I think we'll just give it a few minutes. Um, just seems to be a bit of a Wi-Fi connection. You never know what Instagram Live's going to do to you. There we go. We're back. <laughs> it's back. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My it's bad. fine. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> It's Instagram, you never know what's going to happen anyway. <laughs> no, that was completely my bad. So obviously, um, after the track, yeah. we got uh, Remain Unbeaten, which was another yeah. great step. Do you want to talk us through that song a little bit? Yeah, so we, um, that was probably one of, that was probably my favourite song on the record at the minute. Um, I kind of bounced between all three songs of having like a favourite, but um, we, f we filmed a video uh, when we were on tour in Asia. Um, and we, uh, we flew our friend Dan out, Dan Brees. He came out and uh, just filmed the whole uh, the whole little experience. And we had a lot of fun filming that video. Um, and we were, I wanted to write a song really lyrically that was kind of a follow-on from Self Supremacy. Um, and I think the message behind the song is kind of clear. It's just a straight up, just heavy, groovy, groovy riff uh, all the way through. Um, and I think, like, if you like Malevolence, you'll you'll like that song because it's it's got everything that we kind of do all the best. Um, and when we came to filming the video, you know, we had a lot of fun, like climbing onto like rooftops of hotels and flying a drone in downtown uh, downtown uh, Tokyo. And yeah, it was just like it was a lot of fun to uh, a lot of fun to film and a lot of fun to write. Um, and then obviously Con's got his little part on there. We had to kind of bring Con in a little bit. Um, <laughs> and yeah, just a lot of fun to write. Nice. And you guys went to uh, Australia at the start of the year, right? Yeah, we did. We uh, we toured with Terra. Um, nice. And I was like, 
that was the first time that we'd uh, we'd been over there, and we've been, obviously been wanting to go there for quite a long time. So to finally like get the opportunity to uh, go there and go with one of my favourite hardcore bands was just like sick. Um, I think I think the quote we got in the interview last time was "Can't wait to walk around with our tops off because I think you can do that there." So <laughs> sounds like. <fun. laughs> yeah. yeah, we pretty much did that the whole time we were there. It was great. Nice weather, I'm sure. So, a little bit jealous that someone got out of the country this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just in time, to be fair. Um, but no, it was a sick, sick place. It was so sick to see, like, the reaction over there as well. Like, I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't really expect it, like, to the level that it was. Because, um, obviously, we get a lot of people asking us to come over there. Um, and, yeah, we had a super good time. Like, we played the Invasion Fest in, in uh, Sydney. And that was just insane. Probably, like, the craziest show we played outside of Europe just wild that's nice so with the EP coming Friday is there any reason you saved the title track till last because that's not usually what kind of bands do <laughs> um if I'm honest it was going to be released first um and then there was a few difficulties uh just making things happen and um, behind the scenes and it just kind of worked out that um keep your distance was ready first so we, we we chose to go with that one um however like looking back on it now i'm actually quite glad that we've kept it for last because the song is so different to the rest of the ep that it kind of gives uh it, it's 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 just, i think it'll just be a talking point and i think it's gonna kind of shock people so but people also, aren't ready for friday <laughs> No, nah, I also think it's one of the <laughs> sickest web songs ever, we've ever written now, so I'm super proud of it. Um, and I've got a shout out to Con on this on this one as well because he's pushed himself out of his comfort zone and done an absolutely insane job on the vocals. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see people's reaction, but I'm stoked for it. Yeah, I mean, I've listened to it a couple times today, at least just refreshing myself ready and it's such a technical musical step up for Malev so I think fans Safe. are going to be really blown away by it yeah no I'm, I'm excited it was like like I said it was we really pushed ourselves out of our comfort zone as well on this one so like we've kind of dabbled in like that side of things before but never really took the punch so yeah gonna be sick nice so I'm seeing a few comments coming through um People this, asking this, for a this U, US tour. US tour. Um, Maybe yeah, after we, Corona? <laughs> yeah, after Rona. I think that's the general vibe for most shows at the minute. Um, you know, once all this shit kind of blows over, then we want to be back out everywhere. Um, but obviously, priority right now is keeping everyone safe. So as soon as it is safe to do so, we'll, we'll be back out and, and tearing it up, no doubt. Nice. And there's one that here that says, is it heavy? Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> yeah, it's it it it's both. It's it's heavy and soft. <laughs> Can't complain there. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't take up too much more of your time. So we'll leave you with one last question, unless anyone has any in the comments. Finally, when people log off this live stream, what's one thing they should go and do apart from go and pre-order? Um. Go and enjoy something small. Like, we've got so much free time at the minute. Go and find something that you enjoy doing that you don't have time in normal life to and do. Like, I went and bought a bike. Like, I've been on bike rides. Like, I couldn't see myself doing that, like, a month ago. But, you know, I'm really enjoying it. So just go and do something. <laughs> Follow Sea Dog MOB. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, follow C Dog MLV, but also go and yeah, just just you've got all this free time. Don't necessarily feel pressured to go and constantly find something productive to do. Just go and enjoy something that you like. Don't get that you don't necessarily have time to do. There's a very important question there from Donny. Who's your favourite publicist? Ah, uh, <laughs> fishing. Fishing. <laughs> Absolutely fishing for compliments. Go on then, noise cartel. <laughs> noise cartel, shout for noise cartel. As, as an umbrella, no, no one specific, Donny. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your evening. But thank you so much for joining us, and uh, hopefully, everyone enjoys the track on Friday.
No worries. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, yeah, go. It's awesome. available on digital platforms from midnight tomorrow. If you're watching it, pre-save it and tell your mates. <laughs> nice. Thank you. No worries. Thanks very much for having us.